So, uh, Reed, tell us a little bit about what the plan is for today in the 10 miler. Well, the 10 miler um, I chose because it's a little bit longer than the 10Ks I've been racing. I'm getting ready for the marathon, the Scotiabank Waterfront Marathon. Um, and really, I just want to get a feel for a longer race and get those, you know, maybe try to run around three flat for a kilometer. So faster than race pace and get a good hard effort in. And uh, are you and Joseph going to work together today, or what's the plan for that? Uh, most likely, we I mean, we do uh, we did a couple of workouts this week together, and we, we're usually running in the mornings together. So, you know, with with a, with a race this long, you might as well have company for as long as possible. Uh, how long has it been since you've done these kinds of? This is a relatively low key race uh, compared to you know the normal road races you might do. How long has it been for you since you've been in an atmosphere like this? Well, I've actually done some uh, really low key races uh, in the past few weeks, just because. I got injured and I kind of missed out on the, the races that I wanted to do and I wanted to get back into it and I just thought, you know, might as well just go in a race every once in a while and, you know, it's a bit better of a stimulus than just a workout and, you know, you kind of get up for a bit more. So, yeah, it's been fun. I, li I like doing these races. They're, they're, a lot, they're always a lot of fun. What kind of challenges do you think you'll face over uh, a 10-miler? Uh, it's an odd distance. Well, thankfully, uh, it's not as hot as it, uh, it had been this week because that would have definitely been a challenge. Um, uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, it's just... It's it's not a distance I'm used to, so you know I'll definitely learn some things out there, and, and I'll learn to, learn to push uh, you know uh, towards the end of the race and just have a good effort. Uh, give us a sense of what your training's been like lately. Um, well, I just kind of just started picking up my marathon training. Eric Gillis and I, like I said, getting ready for Scotiabank uh, uh, marathon in the end of September. So we just started picking up the mileage and doing the longer type of workouts. So. We've had a couple of uh, like longer tempos, you know, an hour of tempo, like 15 minutes of work, 60 minutes of work, and over the next few weeks we'll ramp that up even more. And yeah, so I've been getting into the marathon training now, and uh, yeah, it's been feeling good, and I think we'll set up this race pretty well as well. And how often are you running with Joseph at? Um, I do most of my off day uh, runs with Joseph at. Um, so we probably run, I would say, usually four times a week, and then I run my workouts with Eric Gillis um, other times, and I think. Uh, sometimes Joe's fat will uh, he'll he'll join Eric and I in, a, in our workouts. And leading up to the uh, Scotiabank Toronto Waterfront Marathon, uh, it, are you and Joseph fat going to be working together? Is he going to be pacing you at that, or what, what's going to be happening there? Uh, I'm not sure. He he is looking at pacing. Whether he paces the lead group, whether he paces our group, um, I'm not sure yet. So yeah, he'll be doing a bunch of the, the longer type of workouts to get ready to you know hopefully pace uh, maybe us through or maybe another group through 30k. How well do you run together? Uh, good, yeah. Um, sometimes it's tricky when I do a workout with, with Eric, and the next day I'll go run with Joseph at, and he might have not done speed work the day before, and he's pretty fresh, so uh, sometimes I just have to let him go if he's feeling good. And, but uh, yeah, most of the time we just, uh, yeah, we usually run um, about 17, 18, you know, K in the morning together. But today you'll be racing hard to the finish? Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. All right, good luck. Yeah, thanks a lot.